What's up guys, Omni here. You guys know how it goes, another day, another video. Today's video is a surprise quickie. Last night I tweeted, I sleep, what news, topics, tweets, videos y'all want me to talk about tomorrow, which I do every night. But I decided this morning there were a lot of things that I wanted to talk about that I would put into a quickie, therefore this is what I'm doing. So there was a lot of things you guys wanted me to talk about since there's a lot of things that are going down. So I'm just going to get into it. But before we do, I just want to say one thing. We are about three days away from quiz. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. And one of my goals was to reach 200,000 subscribers by Christmas as a Christmas gift. I don't know if we can do it, but if you haven't subscribed and if you're watching this video, I would really appreciate if you hit that button. We're almost there. I think we're about 10,000, maybe even 9,000 away. I don't know if we can do it, but if we can, that would be absolutely amazing. If not, you know, it It'd be like that, okay? <laughs> It'd be like that. All right, let's get into the video. At MX Himawaraji said, the KFC console is bringing an end to the console wars, apparently. Also, did you see the lifetime drama with Mario Lopez, a recipe for seduction? I'm conflicted, but I feel like KFC is on a roll with this stuff. So, okay. So this is actually a two-part question. I'm only going to address the KFC gaming one, but apparently the guys at KFC made... <laughs> A lifetime drama with Mario Lopez called A Recipe for Seduction was I didn't watch it, but a lot of popular commentary channels have probably already talked about it. But we're going to be looking at KFC Gaming where they basically. All right, let's just watch it. OK, the tweet says the console wars are over. Introducing the KFC console. Hashtag power your hunger. There's a reason mankind didn't peak with the discovery of fire or the invention of the wheel. It's a feeling inside all of us that compels us to go further, reach higher, and dream of ways to achieve the unachievable. When the odds are... I just want to stop and just say, I don't even know if this is actually real. <laughs> I still can't tell if this is just like a spoof or not, because... I don't know, let's just continue, let's just continue. ...stacked against us, and it seems like the entire world wants to tell us no. That's not possible. Like, Surely that can't be done. Cool looking commercial. And we look up to the stars and say, just watch me. Because we know that rules are made to be broken. <laughs> just get all quit. We know that dreams are made to be followed. <laughs> that the impossible is, so is made to be possible. Crazy epic for no and reason. That gaming consoles are made to evolve. There's no way. Welcome to the next level of gaming. <laughs> what? Debate, the KF console. It is a spoof. Oh man, God dang it. I was actually hoping, <laughs> I was actually hoping for a system. Is it a system? Wait a minute. This tweet says, see it for yourself. Find out more about the K KFC console at Cooler Master. And it's a KFC console. Are they, is it a fried chicken cooker? Is that all this is? Is it just a fried chicken cooker? Introducing the KFC console. Power your hunger. The KFC console has arrived, forged from the fires of the KFC ovens, and have been built by Cooler Master from the ground up. There has never been a tastier way to experience the latest titles in stunning 4K, 240 frames per second. World's first built-in chicken chamber? Wait. So it has... Wait. Wait, what? It's a... It's a system that has a chicken chamber? And no, wait a minute. What do you mean by chicken chamber? Never risk letting your chicken go cold again thanks to the partner chicken chamber. Utilize them in the system's natural heat and airflow system. You can now focus on your gameplay and enjoy a hot, crispy chicken between rounds. Bro, that's nasty, dog. I'm not putting no chicken in my daggone system. I legit don't know what to think, okay? I'm, I'm kind of confused. I feel like this whole thing is like a, a, a troll, but apparently it's not. But there's no way it's going to make money, right? Like, I'm... Maybe it does. I have no idea. But I just, honestly, I just wish Popeyes had KFC's marketing. Or I wish KFC had the power of Popeyes food because I feel like it's backwards, bro. Personally, I'm a Popeyes guy. I like Popeyes a lot more. But I feel like KFC's marketing team is absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's what I think about it. I actually have no idea what's going on with it. I'm going to wait for more information. But it seems like a troll. I don't know how successful it's going to be. Probably not super successful. There's no way I'm putting actual chicken and something that I actually use to play games from, bro. I don't care if it heats it up. I'm just not doing it, okay? That's that's disgusting. <laughs> Miss Mister with Love said, a romance starring Mario Lopez as Kentucky Fried Chicken's Colonel Sanders. Everyone wants me to review this romance. 
<laughs> Starring Mario Lopez, the Kentucky Fried Chicken Colonel Sanders. Like, I don't know why so many people want me to do it. I uh, recently, there's a lot of top YouTuber commentator channels that have already done it. So you guys can probably just watch them. But I didn't even think that would be something you guys would be interested in me doing is reviewing a Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> show. I mean, if there's enough interest, yeah, I'll go for it. But uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Jarvis, uh, you guys should definitely watch him. I think he just released a video like yesterday or the day before. Pretty sure that's just as good. So if, you, if you're waiting for something from me, it probably won't come out, but I highly recommend you go out to Jarvis because I really like that guy and he's he's got good commentary. He's probably made a really funny video about this. At WHR Kramer said, Dream's response to the whole speed run thing. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dream was basically being accused of cheating by the official Minecraft speed run community uh, and one of his most recent uh, 1.15 or I think it was maybe 1.16 um, speed runs for Minecraft. In Minecraft, you can speed run the game in terms of how fast you beat it. And yeah, these guys over here basically, you know, said that he cheated and they removed his actual speed run from the ranking. About a week and a half ago, we covered it. Uh, it was basically about this uh, guy, this YouTuber named GeoSquare, who made a video in-depth analysis talking about how there was basically a 1 in 7.5 trillion chance that Dream would have been successfully been able to do a speed run. So Dream basically finally made a response video, which was a 25 minute video, which we're not gonna watch here. But I woke up this morning, already watched it. I can give you guys a quick TLDR on basically what happened. The majority of the video is just way too much math and it's 25 minutes of it. But basically Dream basically hired a Harvard professor who specializes in statistics and probability. <laughs> and basically got him to look at the results of the speed run on top of the analysis that was done by the original guy and basically got this super super smart guy somebody who was you have the smart guy then he got a, a super super smart guy to basically debunk many of the myths that were is in his original video basically saying there was a lot of mistakes so i will play this part basically he says that there's this huge 18 19 20 page document that's in the pdf for his video where the actual professor itself basically talks about science things and probability things and talking about the entire situation but this specific clip is basically one that i'll just play just because it talks about the whole 7.5 trillion number thing so here i'll just watch it first of all the math was off by at least 7.4998 trillion and the original number was 7.5 trillion and like i mentioned earlier this is a huge number so it's also a huge number to be off by on the screen right now is a representation of how far they were off by Again, I'm sure the mods did their best, but when talking about someone's character and their image, making mistakes as big as this can be really damaging. So he basically goes on to defend himself and in the entire of the video, it's him walking along this path of just golden bricks for like <laughs> a straight 24 minutes to basically show how much GeoSquare was off in terms of the probability. Now, when it comes to the 7.5 trillion to 7.49999, I don't know what that actually means. I still don't know what it means. Like, I don't know if it means one in what number. I still don't know what the probability is and he didn't state that. But yeah, it's a good video. If you were invested in the whole dream situation, you should definitely watch his response. In my opinion, I think it was a great response. In my original video, I basically said, I don't know how he's going to defend himself against math and numbers, but hey, just goes to show you that if you just hire some somebody who's better <laughs> at math than numbers, then that's how you win. Other things worth mentioning is that he has no hate towards the uh, Minecraft mod team. I think specifically in this video, he will be donating $1 or every dollar that he makes, he's going to be donating it to the Minecraft mod team so that they can actually create an anti-cheat function because apparently it takes money. And he goes on to say that, yes, he was a little heated when he was responding initially to the accusations because a lot of people, including me, thought it was looking kind of sus the way that he was kind of dismissing all this stuff, but he was basically basically saying he was feeling heated in the moment because he doesn't like having his character uh, basically judged. So yeah, the end all be all is I think this was a great response. I, I wouldn't have been able to come up with a response like this at all. I don't think it absolves him. I don't think it actually clears it. Like the, the actual professor doesn't say like, here are the statistics and here's why he's innocent. He basically lowered the probability, but it doesn't just say that the probability doesn't exist. To be honest, I would probably go into it a lot more deeper, but a lot of this is just math, which I don't care about. <laughs> just a bunch of statistics and probability of people arguing about whether or not RNG can happen and I'm just not above it. But yeah, I think Dream made an excellent response and you should definitely watch the video. So apparently there's this video that's been trending uh, on Twitter. It's about 50 seconds long where it basically talks about fat shaming and fat allying. Um, I'm not sure what fat allying is, but um, yeah, let's just watch the video because I don't know the details and specifics so we can both react to it at the same way. If you want to be a great ally to fat people, here are some things you can do. 
When you go to the doctor, encourage them to do the following things. Eliminate any weight or BMI cutoff policies. Stop using the BMI completely because it is ineffective and racist. The BMI is racist? Get medical equipment that will actually work for fat patients, like blood pressure cuffs that fit, and won't give a false high reading because they're too tight. Set up their office in a way that makes it usable for fat people, like putting chairs without arms in every room. Okay. When you go to a clothing store, tell them to expand their size range. It does not matter what their size range currently is. Tell them to expand it. Okay. If you work in education, get in touch with the health and PE departments. Ask them if they have anything in their curriculum that involves students weighing themselves, counting calories, or using the BMI in any capacity. If they do, educate them on how all of these practices lead to eating disorders and ask them to stop. Okay. All right. How do I how do I put this and phrase this in a way where I don't get canceled? Um, <laughs> I, I think it's basically been proven that if you eat too much food or if you don't eat enough food, uh, you can die. This usually applies to most things in life. Doing too much of something or too less of something probably would kill you. And I don't think the BMI is racist. I think it is a actual measurement to, you know, let you know if like, hey, you might be eating a little bit too much and, you know, putting yourself at risk of dying quicker or faster, or hey, you might not be eating enough and putting your risk, <laughs> putting yourself at risk of dying. All right, I'm just be frank. If you're defending the concept of, I guess, you know, being fat or just being obese, I think you have to understand that when you do too much or too less of something, you put yourself at health risk and you shouldn't encourage that. You, could, you shouldn't encourage something that puts people at risk of dying. On the other end, you should prevent things that help people to prevent themselves <laughs> from dying, which is actual measurements where people can say, hey, based on your size, based on your height, this is a healthy range for you to be in so that you don't have health condition problems like I, I don't understand the problem here i really don't feel like i need to explain much more about it it's just simply it, it comes to health and if you overeat or if you undereat, you expose yourself to more health issues and we shouldn't be advocating for people to be like yeah go ahead and do that and not only that we're going to accommodate you for for you know bringing yourself into a position where you're you could potentially die quicker. I don't I don't think that's what we should be doing. We should be, in my opinion, advocating uh, healthy lifestyles where people live longer. And by doing so, that does mean that you try to keep your BMI at a specific level so that you reduce your health concerns. That's how I feel about it. I ain't gonna say nothing else. <laughs> At Rihako Aduro says Trump throwing a Hail Mary and vetoing the COVID relief bill and wants $2,000 payments. So in case you guys didn't know, there's this huge American stimulus bill that was getting passed. Essentially, everyone thought it was a sham because essentially it came out supposed to be like $900 billion in this entire package that's supposed to be sent out to a whole bunch of people. But apparently, I think only like roughly 28, I, I don't want to state it, but I want to say maybe like 20 to 30 billion was being sent to the Americans. Therefore, for people who had like $75,000 worth of income or 125,000 married finally jointly income, you will qualify for a $600 stimulus check. Now, a lot of people were angry because the entire bill itself, that the stimulus package, this package that they passed this bill had like 900 pages worth of documents. And apparently the guys were supposed to read through this document in like an hour or two in order to actually pass it, which was absolutely impossible, and stacked within this actual bill of just papers and things was a lot of money being sent to many places that wasn't the American people. A lot of money was being sent to other countries, to uh, things that didn't even matter, things I didn't even know existed. People were getting money for places and things I didn't even know we were actually funding, and they were getting billions of dollars for this. Again, I do not care about politics. I just care whether or not you will receive $2,000 or not, okay? So yeah, it says, President Donald Trump is demanding lawmakers raise the second round of stimulus checks to $2,000 per person from $600. This is also in line with what AOC was talking about on Twitter last night. She also was trying to raise it to $2,000. So yeah, Trump and AOC agreeing on anything is just like, that never happens, okay? I'm asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple, Trump said in a video posted to Twitter Tuesday night. While the president did not outright threaten a veto of the $900 bill, COVID relief bill, he did call it unsuitable disgrace. But if you're one of the people eligible for a stimulus check, don't get your hopes up. The legislation passed both houses of Congress with veto-proof majorities, meaning that Trump is powerless to raise direct payments from $600. So 
There we go. The, the bill is basically saying you can't veto this. That's crazy. <laughs> Still, the top Democrats in Congress, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, said they would support getting bigger checks to people. Democrats are ready to bring this to the floor this week by unanimous consent. Let's do it, Pelosi tweeted. So yeah, my thoughts without getting too political is that I, I really do feel like the government up there at the heads at the tops don't really care about the American people. The fact that a second stimulus check is coming in December at the end of 2020 and the pandemic happened in April is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure that I know so many people personally, including myself, who have been laid off from their jobs because of COVID and this pandemic that have not been receiving much financial help. And it seems really weird that a very, very, very large majority of this COVID relief bill isn't actually going to relieving <laughs> the concepts of COVID. Like why call something the COVID relief bill, but only like 10% or 5% of it is actually helping people now i'm not trying to be completely biased against the bill i don't know the 100 details of what's in there but it just does seem like there's a lot of just sneaky things being placed into the bill i heard that they might have even snuck in the dmca bill which basically uh puts people in jail or makes people felons for illegally streaming on twitch i don't think it goes back to creators again there's a lot of information out there and i don't want to feed you any misinformation but the bill is really sneaky and the fact that it just came out for like in a day for people to read is just also really sneaky too I don't think that's how you should run the government. It seems really backwards and inefficient and and basically a recipe for a disaster and for corruption to happen. But yeah, that's how I feel about it. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. We talked about a lot. If you made it to the end of the video, hey, do me a favor, leave a like. It lets me know that you watched all the way through and that you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you guys haven't already, okay? I'm out. It's two days before Christmas. It's December 23rd, 2020. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys are having your time off. I hope you guys are relaxing. Yeah, hit me up on Twitter. That's where I'll be relaxing too as well. I might try to stream sometime this week. I've been really busy with some iron stuff so i haven't been able to do too much of that this month but we'll see but yeah i won't ramble i'll see you guys thanks for watching you guys stay hydrated you guys stay healthy you guys stay safe and i'll see you guys on the next episode take it easy